We're about to help you get over your fear of needles, blood, and all those cold metal instruments with the help of three doctors. People are afraid that your doctor's gonna tell you something bad, yeah. right? No one wants to hear that. And it's counterintuitive, but we'll say, oh, we just won't go. We don't yeah. want to hear. But so many diseases can be prevented, treated, even in the early stages. Ended, right, with early, right, early treatment. I have some of my patients, they'll ask me, talk to me. Tell me, tell me what you're doing yeah. before each step. Yeah. I do have some other patients who say, I don't want to know, get Just it over with it. as quick as possible. We thought it was a good time to do a little fact or fiction when it comes to making sure your eyes are properly protected from the harsh effects of the sun. Sun exposure in the eyes leads to a whole host of problems from serious to just a little painful. And most people don't realize the sun is just as bad for your eyes as it is for your skin. We are back and we're debunking old wives' tales, some of which you may have believed for ages. There's no proof that you can't swim for a half an hour right. after <laughs> eating. This came from the olden days when we used to think, oh, you just ate this heavy meal, all the blood's diverted to your belly. You don't want to get a cramp. But the studies show you actually get a cramp anytime. It doesn't right. matter if there's food in your stomach. The myth is chicken soup cures a cold, and I know that that is not true. It does not cure a cold. I'm going to say fact. It makes you feel better, and it shortens the duration of your cold symptoms. So the congestion, the runny nose, a big study was done using a grandmother's recipe for chicken soup and it made them feel better. Why? It actually decreased the inflammation that causes all of those things I just mentioned. Eating carrots <laughs> improves vision. For this you. is a fact. We need vitamin A for good eyesight and a lot of chronic eye conditions are linked to not getting enough vitamin A in well, your diet. I Milk, cheese, egg yolks, and even liver, if that's your thing, has mm. more vitamin A than carrot. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank that was you. fun. Thank you. And next thank time we're you. playing for cash. The thing with ovarian cancer is early detection is key. One study showed that if you can catch it early, the life expectancy at five years is 90%. So feeling full, abdominal discomfort, gassiness, for a couple of days is one thing, but if this has been going on for almost a month, you need to call your OBGYN. It could be as simple as having an ultrasound or a CAT scan to tell if anything different is going on. So we're hearing a lot about concussions these days. They're relatively common, but thankfully most of them are not severe and life-threatening. If your doctor says you're okay, it's a mild concussion, go home, you can rest. It's actually a myth that you need to be woken up every couple of hours. Dr. Annie Negrin is an ophthalmologist in Westchester and she's here to share some tips with Thank us. You, Thank you, Michelle. So Polarization has nothing to do with protecting okay. your eyes. Polarization right. has to do with glare, if you're driving in the okay. sun, Nothing to do with protecting your eyes from the sun. Well, if you wear glasses, you know that frames are a true accessory. They can completely make or break your look, right? Well, here to help you find the perfect pair for every face shape is ophthalmologist Dr. Annie Negrin. Because she's round, you want frames that are wider than the widest part of her face. Okay. And again, you do have the angles, and rectangle really contrasts nicely with round. These are great on you. You can do fun, decorative, even some bling on the glasses. Oh, those are cute. The cat eye, the focus on the high on top, really draws attention away from the length of the mm -hmm. face. Ovals are lucky, you can get away with a lot. The first trend is lush lashes, and you say there are three ways we can get the look, ladies, right? Latisse is actually a drop. Right. It, it was a serendipitous discovery. Patients were using an eye drop for glaucoma. Okay. And they started coming and saying, oh my God, my lashes are gorgeous, they're lush, they're thick. The company packaged it, so it is a prescription. It does work, but because it's a drug, it's going to have side effects. Oh, thanks for coming. Thank you for having thank me. You, thank you, thank you, you ladies. Gorgeous. You look beautiful.